with you the need to have medical interns assigned to Cavan Monan Hospital, which is a high, which is a large level three hospital. Um, interns have not been allocated to the hospital despite its services expanding over the years. Cavan ha General has approved as an intern training site. The vast majority of level three hospitals, I understand, have interns, but Cavan Monan Hospital, despite promises, has not been facilitated in this respect. Without trainees, this hospital would have difficulty in recruiting and retaining Irish trained doctors and qualification as they would not have the experience of working there previously. Over the years, management and staff of all levels have worked very hard in the hospital to expand considerably the range of health services provided locally. It is regarded as having excellent training opportunities across a range of specialities. The hospital has the personnel and the facilities to provide appropriate training for such doctors. The needs of smaller scale hospitals must be addressed and would help the better Thank delivery you, of health services throughout the country. In the National Doctors Training Programme, I am very anxious that provision is made for the Cavan Monaghan Hospital, with particular reference to the Cavan General Site, which has recognition as an intern training Thank centre. You. Thank you, Ken Corda. Um, thank you, Deputy, for raising the issue. Kevin General Hospital is a very important hospital. I know you've been a consistent um, advocate for the hospital. I will talk to the Minister for um, Health. You're saying that the, the medical interns are not getting placements no. there. Well, that, that's serious. And the, not being assigned to it. Not being assigned. So that's a serious issue. I will talk to the Minister for Health and see can we get a note back to you in respect of that. Thank you very much. Decisions yeah. need to be made by the workforce planning people to assign people to Cavan Monaghan. Okay. And they'll be very Honest well trained and well looked after, as you know, Thomas Thank you very much, Absolutely. Deputy Richard Bruton. <laughs>